Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and here's another video of my stock buy-in. Um, as you're aware, I'm buying different stock, now trying to fill up a, a shop and trying to have a variety, a um, bit of diversity on the shelves. I don't just want the same thing over and over. Um, so I am buying some things I wouldn't normally buy, um, but there is quite a lot here that I would buy anyway. A um, couple of run the mill pieces. We have here um, a lovely little 1950s, 60s teapot. Um, has the Indian tree design. Um, yeah, Indian tree, both sides, produced by um, Sadler. It is stamped at Sadler, England, on the base. Good condition. Um, it's going to retail out for about fifteen, eighteen pound in the shop. I pay two pound for it, guys. Next, we have. God, these used to pull some serious money. Do you know when I started out in antiques? These used to pull really good money. They're ginger jars, they are. This particular example is by a company called Mason's. And do you know, people used to rip your arm off from 30, 35 pounds for that one time. Now I'd be lucky to get 12. But as I said, it's by Mason's. It's the name. Nice enough design. It's, um, I think it's a variation of the willow pattern. Good condition. Couple of quid in, and it'll work for 12. Next we have a 19th century, it's pottery not porcelain, plate. Uh, pattern is Indian, uh, maker is FF, SF and Co. I haven't looked them up yet. Now, I done a video a couple of days ago on identifying and dating Victorian lozenge marks and registration numbers. Well, there we have a corker of a registration mark. So off that mark, as you know now if you watched my video, I can date this down to the day, the month and the year. And the batch number. So, and it is really crisply marked. So it's a nice, uh, nice plate. Love the pattern. Almost a Gordy Welsh uh, pattern to it. Really nice. Cost me a pound. It's going to go out for about 15, 20 pounds. I love them when they got the lozenge marks. People do collect them just for the lozenge mark. Uh, let's get these out of my way. Here, guys, we have a pair. They're plastic or resin, probably from the 50s or 60s, maybe a bit later, I don't know. Um, but they would have originally had a bar coming up here with a big lampshade. They're lamps. Um, you can see, let me have a look. You can see the hole in the base where the bar would have come. Um, it is in the back. So they would have had a bar coming straight up the back here, bulb, and then a big shade. Now, I don't have the fit-ins, the, the bar and the shade and everything else, and I'm not really bothered about them. They come in, they cost me £4 for the pair. Now, you have two options. You can display them as decorative Chinese figurines, and they are gorgeous, even though they're resin, or you can turn them back into lamps. Uh, that is a possibility, because all you need is a simple threaded bar, or screw. you want a little bit of bar where you can put a bit of screw on the top and bottom, Put your light fittings on, run a cable through, and you got yourself some lamps. And they do look the part. Two pound each, four quid the pair. I'm happy enough. I'm gonna chuck fifteen quid on the pair and just have them gone. Resin isn't something I uh, I'm into, but um, I was given a full job lock clearance and some things I didn't want, but I took it all because it was so cheap. These ones here are similar in ivory. Now I've actually had these in the ivory and I have actually still got some in walrus ivory on my website. These are uh, resin again but they are really really nice. You know, they're beautiful figurines. Now if you don't want ivory but you like the look then you know you've got a beautiful beautiful pair of Chinese figurines here. Very nicely cast actually. Resin yes but they're nice. Um, they cost me £8. They weren't cheap, especially for resin, but seriously guys, I had cuckoo clocks at 18 quid, I had bracket clocks at 15 quid. I weighed it all up, it was for nothing. 
I wouldn't have paid £8 for these on the car boot sale. I can tell you right now I would have paid £2 or £3 for them. But I'm putting £15 on the pay and I don't think I'm going to have a problem selling them. Just not the profit margin and not the type of things I like to sell. I don't like doing resin. But at the same time, I love Oriental. They're going to go out. I'm going to ask £15 for them and they're gone. Next we have a pair of 1920s solid oak barley twist candlesticks. They have their original copper sconce or disc strip pan on the top. They're in solid oak as I said. Uh, the barley twist. Now the, the ones that pull the real money are the open barley twist. They're not solid. They have two barley twist spirals going around and they're hollow. They pull good money. These ones here are still a nice set and Christmas is coming guys. Um, set like this in the shop is going to be between 15 and 20 pound. I can't even remember what I paid from the to dig in now, but I think it was either two or three pound for the pay. So happy enough, they're fine. I don't mind that. They're all right. Next we have a really nice. <laughs> there's a name for this stuff. It's Japanese and it's a posy vase with the bird on it. Uh, it's. Maruto Mo Way or something like that. It's really hard to pronounce. Maruto Mo Way. Something like that it is anyway. Um, it's almost like a stoneware body with the inscribed made in Japan. Hand painted. Almost looks like a bit of studio pottery but really is a nice little posy vase guys. Now I paid a pound for that one. Do you know I actually rate that one to be about £20-£25. I really like it. It's different. Um, and I'm happy enough with that. Now, in the last video, as you know, I'm doing 10 or 15 videos just today and scheduling them because i got so much stock. I'm making the film, taking it in the kitchen, washing it, wrapping it, pricing it, putting it in a box, putting it away. Coming in another six or seven pieces out, making another film and that's the cycle I'm doing. Basically, I'm trying for you to see the stock I'm putting in the shop rather than simply just boxing it up and giving you a quick skim run when I open the shop. Um, I've had that much stock in this week. Obviously, you know the stock I got. You've seen it. I've got boxes and boxes of stock everywhere. But this is all new stock that's come in that I want you to see before I sell it. So, as you're aware, in the last video i done um, a job lot of um, African carvings. This year we have another three carvings, all in hardwood. Really nice again. And, again, you're talking, cost me a tenner for the three. But they are nicely carved. These two are like an ebony or dark wood. This one more... Mahogany in colour, but uh, again a hardwood, tropical hardwood. And what I've decided to do, I'm having a full shelf of tribal and I'm just going to put £20 a piece on it all. And to be honest, I see these card figures on the car boot sales regular for between three, five, seven pound, uh, ten, or if they're spectacular. And what I intend to do if they're a few pound is just buy them and keep topping them up. If I sell one off a shelf, buy another one, put it in its place, and try and keep one or two shelves of tribal pieces, all hand-carved. Now, not being funny, somebody brought them back from holidays, and they are nice figures. You know, there is nothing wrong with them whatsoever. You know, really nice finish to them, nicely carved. You know, they're going to go back in the box with the rest of them that you've already seen. 20 quid a figure, job done, not worried about it. So we're getting through it guys. Next piece here I wish was a bit older. Um, Chinese art is as you know selling well. Here we have a cut glass perfume bottle, scent bottle, no, snuff bottle rather. Now it's hand painted, but it's hand painted inside the glass. So basically they've hand painted it like this inside the bottle. That takes some doing. Not to mention this calligraphy on both sides. Calligraphy is the writing, guys. Now, this isn't a very old one. And for a change, it's got the glass top as well instead of a plastic stopper. It's not that old. I'd say it's probably 20 year old, if that, 30 year old. Some of the early ones can pull really good money. But it is quality. It's hand painted inside, both sides. 
beveled edges, cut glass, glass stopper. It cost me £3. Now I'm going to put 30 on it um, and see what offers I get. So we'll see. Maybe I'm shooting for the stars, maybe I'm not. Um, if someone comes in and makes me an offer of £20, you know, it'll probably go. But we'll see. This piece here isn't getting sold. Here we have a piece of 18th century Chinese porcelain. As you know, I'm trying to learn the subject, if I ever get time. Hand-painted Chinese Canton Ware export. Um, so, you a little look see at it, guys. Really nice thin porcelain. Very delicate thin porcelain, believe it or not. Really nice, lovely shape. You date it off the shape, the colour, the pattern, everything. There's so much, and to be honest with you, I just haven't got it yet. And I ain't at the moment got the time to read the books. But that cost me a pound for a piece of 18th century Chinese export ware. Could be 19th, but if it is, it's early 19th. So I like that. That's not going to be sold. That's going in my uh, collection for when I do ever get time to read my books. Last piece of this video, guys, is absolutely gorgeous. It comes with a little umbrella, but to be honest with you, I'm going to separate the umbrella and sell that on his own for 15 or 20 pounds. It's all, um, I'll try and think now. You know when you have the lace doilies and that? Well, that's what this looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. Little umbrella. I may sell it with him, but uh, to be honest with you, the umbrella is probably going to go off on his own. Little uh, lace umbrella. Teddy bear is vintage. It's not stuffed with straw or anything like that. It is normal stuff in. All the limbs move, you know. All the legs. Don't know who he's by. There's no marks or names or anything on him or tags. Um, but he came in. I've had a couple of vintage te teddy bears. This one was sat on a uh, shelf. Come in. I think it cost me four pounds with the umbrella. I'm going to get £15 for that umbrella, guys. I can tell you that now. No problem at all. And the teddy bear. Probably about the same. About £15, £20. Some teddy bear collector is going to see that in my shop, fall in love and take him home. And he'll have a little... He'll have a new home, providing Shannon doesn't see him. Otherwise, he's going to get to stay with me, aren't you? <laughs> We've got to pack this one by before Shannon gets home from school. Otherwise, he'll be, oh, my daddy. And I can't give her everything. As much as I love her, she can't have everything. It'll be a little girl who'll walk in the shop, watch it be Shannon, <laughs> see this teddy bear and go, I want it! Because Shannon apparently is coming to the shop from school to spend an hour at the shop with me before we come home. <laughs> I am excited. So, anyway guys, it's a little rushed if you like, um, but I'm trying to get through as many videos as I can because this, the fear I got is... Once I, uh, I start working in the shop, I'm not going to have the time to make the films. Once I'm set up and running, I'll make the films. But for the next sort of 10 or 15 days, it's going to be crazy manic trying to tidy the shop up, decorate the shop, put the cabinets up, build the cabinets, fill the cabinets. I'm still washing, pricing and uh, packing stock to take down the shop. Um, while I'm here, I'll show you one last piece and I'm not 100% on what it is. Um, We have a set of, well, look almost like postcards. Brian, I've seen them before. Now I'm trying to rack my brains. Now I know there's like a religious set uh, of cards that you can get. I'm not sure if this comes under them. I can't quite remember. Um, they're almost like a postcard, guys. Backed on this gilded board. I don't think they're hand painted, I think they're prints. I almost 100% they're prints. I haven't put my glass on them yet. They may have embellishment on them of uh, touching up, but they're prints they are. And there's some really nice scenes. I paid £2 for it. Now, to be honest though, I could take these postcards off and use the board, you know, as a welcome sign, anything. It's a really nice old gilded board. Not that I'm going to do that. Um, if you know the name of these, I'd be grateful, because I know there is a special name for them, I just can't think what it is off the top of my head. 
Um, here we go again, there's another little look at them. Nice uh, little cards. A bit of age to them. They were two quid and as you know, I've been buying a bit of art to hang up in the shop. They're going to go out for 20, 25 pound in the shop. But if they don't sell, they got a really nice look. I love that old gilded look. Um, I was given a present. Now, I'm running an antique shop, so the last thing I want is a brand new plastic clock on the wall. So I was given this one. It's all inlaid, but would you believe it is bloody chip wood. It's chip wood, guys, and a plastic um, thing, plastic uh, movement. However, on the wall in the antique shop, nobody's going to know that's a bit of chip wood. It's really pretty. Looks like it's a bit of um, Sorrento way, or you know, people may confuse it for Tunbridge way, but it isn't. It's just a bit of modern. I'm not even 100%, yeah, it is inlaid. I was going to say then, is it painted on, but no, it is inlaid. But they've, they've basically cut the uh, octagonal shape, is it? No. Uh, they've cut the shape out anyway. And they've inlaid on the surface this veneer with all the inlaid parts and turned it into a clock. Now, it's going to look nice on the wall. It's not going to be up for sale. It's just going to be there to tell the time. Um, in use as a shop rather than just buying a brand new plastic clock from Argos. As you know, setting up the shop hasn't been cheap. I'm well in five grand plus. Um, so the last thing I want to do is spend unnecessary money. It was a gift. It was given to me to put on the wall for the plain and simple reason. It looks the part and it won't stand out like a sore thumb in the shop. You know, hanging a plastic clock up there, what can I say? Um, and great folly was a very nice gesture and it looked nice in the shop anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at this uh, video and some more of the stock that's gone into the cabinets um, obviously you know I've got the finer pieces you know the silver the fine porcelains the 18th century glasses I've got silver and gold coming out my ears that's gonna fill it up um, but this is the new stock that's coming in and of course when um, on opening day, before I open to the public, I'm going to take you around, show you everything that's in the shop, give you pans of all the cabinets, and then I'm going to do a little grand opening on the Monday. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. Um, I'm really enjoying showing you the bits. I'm super excited. Um, it's probably coming across how excited I am. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed, I would appreciate a like and a share. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And you'll find me on Facebook. I have a page on the group Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. Run a search on eBay sellers. Antiques Arena clearance. And I have my own website. AntiquesArena.co.uk and AntiquesArena.com Or oh, if you're local guys, come visit me in Mount Nash Town Centre. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.